So let me begin by quickly introducing myself. My name is Safwan. I graduated at the London School of Economics. In this video, I want to share with you the workflow I use to take my grades from a borderline 2-2 to a strong 2-1. I think this method should work for most subjects because my subject included coursework, it included essays, I had lots of math exams in there, and I use the iPad for all of those. My first year of uni was very chaotic. I remember doing my stats exam and I walked out with my hands behind my head like this. The reason why was twofold. First, because I thought I failed it. But secondly, I knew I messed up an opportunity to give my grades a big head start. If I wasn't gonna achieve a 2-1 in my degree by the end of my three years, I knew it affected my chances of getting a graduate job. I knew it affected my chances of applying for a master's if I wanted to do that. I had no idea what I wanted to do, but I knew that getting a 2-1 was very important to me. But my second year of uni, after receiving my results, I told myself I'm definitely going to do things differently. It was around like Christmas time when I noticed a friend of mine would upload these Snapchat stories of her iPad and she had all these colourful notes in it. So this friend of mine introduced me to Notability and she also introduced me to Ali Abdal. He has a really good video on how to use an iPad at uni. So when I saw that, that's what inspired me. I've got to make this jump. So the next day I borrowed my dad's iPad, I went and bought an Apple Pencil online and I just jumped straight into Notability with two feet. I don't get concepts straight away and I don't really consider myself someone that's naturally highly intelligent. The reason I say that is because using an iPad really brought the enjoyment back into studying and learning. So for my second and third year, I was using my MacBook to type my essays on and I was using my iPad for pretty much everything else. So that's my story and here are the reasons why I think you should try Notability on your iPad. Feel free to skip to the parts of the video that interest you the most. In my first year of uni, I would just skim through the lecture slides and hope I absorb it. Fast forward to my second year of uni, I was actively recalling that information. Handwriting your notes leads to far better retention than highlighting your notes or just very passively reading them. As a way of learning, it's so much more efficient than simply typing your notes or using a pen and paper because as great as a pen and paper is, you can't erase very easily. You've got something physical which you can lose. If you're someone that likes aesthetically pleasing notes, you'll be very happy to know. You can change the colors. You can bust a highlighter. You can copy and paste photos into your notes. Personally, I find I spend way too much time making the notes look pretty. So I've just stopped doing that altogether. I prefer to go for very functional notes, which I can refer to. And I use the colors as and when I need to use them. So the second thing I want to talk about is the split screen view on the iPad. On one side, you can have your lecture or your class, and then on the other side, you have your handwritten notes. I used to have problem sets or homework assignments on one side, and I would do the answers on the other side. You can have a YouTube video up, you can have notes, you can have readings, it's whatever you want, it's your canvas. Hands down, this is my favourite feature about using the iPad because multitasking has helped me to achieve so much more in my time than I otherwise could have done. I'd say the second most powerful tool that I use is Sidecar. Sidecar is a general iPad feature and essentially it enables you to use your iPad as a secondary display to your MacBook. It doesn't matter if I'm in the library or if I'm at home, but I could just prop up my iPad, use it as an extended display and have my handwritten notes on one side and then my essay on the other side and it'd be really easy to just type away and refer to my notes whenever I needed it. Having one central place to keep all your things just allowed me to be so much more focused on revising. Notability backs up to your iCloud or your Google Drive or your Dropbox. And all the file types I ever needed to use were PowerPoints and PDFs and you can import those just fine. There's, there's a whole bunch of other supported file types but I never use those as a student. The app also splits things up into dividers and subjects. That's always felt very natural to me so I've enjoyed that. I used to procrastinate so much on planning how I was going to get a 2-1 or how I was going to get an A-star. So now that I've got this central place, it just allows me to focus so much more on doing the revision instead of planning to do the revision. So the final thing I want to talk about is the recording feature that you have on Notability. So when I go to these meetings to get some advice, I would stick the record button on and I'd take notes as they were talking. But often there were things that I'd miss out. So when I went to replay that voice note afterwards, there are these little nuggets of information which I missed and I think, ah oh, yeah, that's a brilliant idea. It was so useful to have all of that feedback in one place and it was a great backup if I was really lost on a particular subject. In my first year, I hate to admit it, but I was the guy that was going to people for notes and for advice and for like readings and all these kind of things. I was so disorganised. But in my second and third year, I noticed that some of my classmates were starting to come to me now. So essentially, I realised that the imposter syndrome I was feeling at uni from working really, really hard but not getting the grades was more of a symptom of the wrong learning techniques than it was 
my intelligence or my ability to learn. I can very safely say that using the iPad Notability is what helped me get a 2-1 at uni. I hope somebody finds this video useful and I've convinced them to maybe try using an iPad with Notability. I borrowed one from my dad before eventually buying my own iPad. Look within your network of friends and family to see if there's something you can try out. Thank you very much for watching my first YouTube video.